Hi, I'm Laura Brody, and I'm the founder of Opulent Mobility. And this is an exhibit that asks people to reimagine disability as opulent and powerful, which aren't terms you usually associate with disability, right? This is about celebrating disability, not trying to sugarcoat it, making it celebratory instead of something that is overlooked or, I don't know, set to the side, right? Or something to fear. There's a lot of work out there which is either what I call very patronizing. Uh, the best possible way to describe it is, oh, look what those people can do. It's really not good. It's really very patronizing. There's also a lot of work that is much angrier, which is totally appropriate, right? You're a marginalized group, you have a right to be angry. But I wanted to do something that could celebrate it, because we get kind of the, as um, Stella Young so, so brilliantly put it, inspiration porn, and then sometimes you go to the other side and you get what we call tragedy porn, when you're only focusing on the difficulties. I think that that eliminates a lot of the possibilities. Opulent mobility has been an opportunity for a lot of disabled artists, for all of us to get together and share our work and really showcase it. I've told stories about, oh, in, the, in the writing of this, about how I got involved, but the very first piece that I made was called Driven, the Edwardian Cyborg Wheelchair. A friend of mine donated me his old electric wheelchair, and I dressed it up like an Edwardian throne and upholstered it and put tassels and everything all over it and made a costume for him for an art event. And it was beautiful in a failure, like a total failure, because I didn't understand the needs he had as a quadriplegic about what balance he needed. So the seat back was too heavily upholstered for him, and it nearly shoved him out on the floor. Thankfully, he wasn't hurt. And I learned how much more I have to learn, that maybe medical licensing isn't in my future, but art is. And once I started doing this and making these pieces, I wanted to show them. And then I couldn't find any place that was wheelchair accessible to show them for me as an emerging artist at the time. Luckily, after a while, I just got stubborn. And because I'm a collaborative artist at heart, I started out with theater. I, that's doing costumes. I really love working with other people. I figured, okay, it can't just be me. Let's find other people to work with. And then opulent mobility began.